wake up, Harry the Chosen One. Don't tell me it's that owl again. That's the last thing I need to see when I wake up in the morning is that owl. That Maximilian Pega owl talking to me. This is a pretty cool place as well. I love like this void. This whole kind of interdimensional place they've got going on for themselves. And who's they? Well, we'll find out who lives here now, I suppose. I like the way it's like, they do like the camera like through links. Like, look at this! At least it's not that owl. I'm Roru, one of the ancient sages. Ages ago, we ancient sages built the Temple of Time to protect the entrance to the sacred realm. Oh, his voice is kind of familiar, isn't it? This is the Chamber of Sages, inside the Temple of Light, Linky Boy. The Temple of Light, situated in the very center of the Sacred Realm, is the last stronghold against Ganondorf's evil forces. Woohoohoohoo! The Master Sword, the evil destroying sword that you pulled out of the pedestal of time, was the final key to the Sacred Realm. Harry, don't be alarmed. Look at yourself! I'm a fairy! Oh no, I'm not. <laughs> well, I already was a fairy boy or whatever, wasn't I? Not like. Like. <laughs> From Link. <laughs> first Link, now Twink! Look, Harry, you're a bit. Oh no, that's Navi. What am I saying? Look, Harry, you're a big now. You've grown up. At least I'm not a fairy like you. <laughs> like, that's what I thought first. I was like, <laughs> it's like I'm a fairy. <laughs> A fairy in a play. Well, in real life, too. <laughs> the Master Sword is a sacred blade which evil ones may never touch. Only one worthy of the title of Hero of Time can pull it from the pedestal of time. However, you were too young to be the Hero of Time. So, without telling you, we decided to freeze you for like seven years. Like, I love the way they're, he's. Like, if I were Link, I'd be like, what? That's seven years of birthday presents I just missed out on. And now that you are old enough, the time has come for you to awaken as the hero of time. Woohoo! Well, do you understand your destiny, Linky Boy? Yes, I'm pretty sure I do. All I know, and I still don't know why you decided to freeze my ass for seven years. But remember. Though you opened the door of time in the name of peace, Ganondorf, the Gerudo King of Thieves, used it to enter this forbidden sacred realm. He obtained the Triforce from the Temple of Light, and with its power, he became the King of Evil. Oh yeah, so while you were napping, he just strolled in and took that there Triforce without you even knowing about it. And then you woke up and you said, oh, I'll just get Link to fix my problem. His evil power radiated from the temples of Hyrule, and in seven short years, it transformed Hyrule into a world of monsters. My power now only has a little influence, even in this sacred realm. Namely, this chamber of sages. Yeah, in your interdimensional rift or whatever. It's like your, your, your laughing place. Because everybody has a laughing place, even Roru. But there is still hope. <laughs> what was that? The power of the sages remains. When the power of all the sages is awakened, the sages' seals will contain all the evil power in the void of the realm. I, Roru, am one of the sages, and... Your power to fight together with the sages makes you the hero of time. The hero of time chosen by the Master Sword. Da -da 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 -da. Would you ever get on with it, Roru? It's like he's been sitting here not talking to anyone, and he's like, he's like, finally someone to talk to him when I tell him my life story. Keep me, keep my spirit with you, and with the power of the other sages, add their might to your own. <laughs> he's gonna spread his big flappy arms there, and we're gonna get something. This is a thing called the present. The whole thing starts with a circle. A circle? I can't think of anything that rhymes with circle. <laughs> but yeah. You received the light medallion. Roru the sage adds his power to yours. Well, that wasn't too hard. 
Well, maybe getting all these medallions and finding the sages and stuff isn't going to be too hard after all. I mean, if they're all as easy as Roru's, then, like, we're golden. So, yeah, let's just stroll on out of here. Here we are, back in the Temple of Time. Seeing as we finally escaped from Roru's um, Rift of Pleasure, or whatever you'd call that place he lives. Harry, we're back in the Temple of Time, but have seven years really passed? It looks like you won't be able to use some of the weapons you found as a kid anymore. Let's get out of here. Yeah, let's blow this popsicle stand. <laughs> you think he could hurry a bit? He's just like, oh my god. Say chic. Hey there. I've been waiting for you, hero of time. Now, this is like a conversation that. Oh my, this music! It's like my favorite music in the whole game. I'm just gonna let it play for a bit. Enjoy it. And, like, Sheik is my favorite character in the game. Like, one of them anyway. Sheik is just, like, really cool. I don't know. When evil rules all, and an awakening voice from the sacred realm will call those, des call those destined to be sages who dwell in the five temples. One in deep forest. One on a high mountain. One under a vast lake. One within the house of the dead. And one inside a goddess of the sand. Together... With the hero of time, the awakened ones will blind, blind, bind the evil, and return the light of peace to the world. This is the legend of the temples, passed down by my people, the Sheikah. The evolution of the Sheikah! I am Sheik, survivor of the Sheikahs. Well, one of them. There is another one, like. Don't be taking all the credit for yourself. As I see you there, standing, holding the mythical master sword, you really do look like the legendary Hero of Time. If you believe the legend, you have no choice. You must look for the five temples and awaken the five sages. One sage is waiting for the time of awakening in the forest temple. The sage is a girl I am sure you know. It's a friend we haven't met yet. Well, it's Paula. Spoiler, sorry, it's Paula. Because of the evil power in the temple, she cannot hear the awakening call from the sacred realm. Unfortunately, equipped as you currently are, you cannot even enter the temple. But, if you believe what I am saying, you should head to Kakariko village. Do you understand, Harry? I have a feeling I've seen you somewhere. I'm getting a sense of deja vu here. Let's have a look. Serious customer we're dealing with. To save the forest girl, you need another skill. Head to Kakariko Village. Okay, will do. But yeah, like... Well, first of all, what I love about the Temple of Time when you become an adult is that it looks completely normal. Like, it looks exactly the same as just, like, when you were here as a child. Um, It's just really cool. Like, it looks exactly the same. So, it, it hasn't changed one, one bit in seven years. But then, as soon as you go outside, you see this. And it's just, like, the effect of seeing... Like, how barren and and terrible this place has become just in seven years is really, really cool. Like, in, when, when we see, like, the state the town is in. Like, when we go into the market or whatever. We might as well go and see what the story is with, uh... With Hyrule Castle. Have a see what's happened in just seven years. Like, it's amazing. Look at that. Gandor's been redecorating the place. His style is exceedingly grotesque and leaves a lot to be desired. Ganon's Castle! I like the kind of swirling cloud effect though. And I like these skeletons here. These are a nice touch. These like skulls here. 
See, like, Ga Ganondorf going to B and Q and finding them and taking them out for himself. Like, why is there, like, a strange echo in your hair? Strange. Strange fascination fascinates me. Pretty cool castle we got there, Ganondorf. But yeah, we can't do anything there yet, um, so we'll just have to leave. The people, the people in the, it's like, it's like the people in the market aren't doing too well either. It's like, yeah, Navi, hello, I'll talk to you. Should we believe what Sheik said and go to Kakariko Village? Who's Sheik the Freak, I suppose. He's a pretty crazy guy, but I mean, who? what other leads do we have? Man, those seven years of not being kind on these villagers. They've got old. No, stay away. Stay away from me. I do not need anything from you, mister. I suppose we might as well go talk to this guy. Get this music. We've got a nice big sword now. We've got a big everything now compared to when we were a child. Hey, you are quite an energetic young man. You're brave and handsome too. Oh, thanks. <laughs> Your name is Harry, isn't it? Yeah, well, in the I I called me Harry, but to other people, but other people like to refer to me as Link or even Twing. <laughs> Don't be surprised. I can read people's minds. If I looked as good as you, I could run a different kind of business. <laughs> this is ridiculous. I just like can't get over this. My shop is the only ghost shop in Hyrule. Because of the great Ganondorf, it is a fine time for a business like this. <laughs> oh, I can only hope the world gets even worse. The ghosts called Poes are spirits of concentrated hatred that appear in the fields and graveyard. They hate the world. This is like that guy in Final Fantasy VI where, like, when you, um... Like, the guy who runs the Colosseum who's like, Oh, uh, if only the place were more terrible, then, my co uh, then I'd be cool. Then the everything would be great. And, like, I want the world to be as awful as possible. It's like, and then you, like, come out of, like, Hyrule Castle, the epicenter of all the terror. And the moon's rising. Got a bad moon rising. And it's still, there's still, like, this weird, like, purple miasma. Then as soon as you, like, get out of there, it's okay again. It's alright, it's alright, it's okay, it's okay. But yeah, like, um, Harriel and I were having this conversation the last day after we finished recording or whatever, because I was saying, like, um... Like, I, I don't like the way they're after, like... T like, I don't mind the idea of a Zelda timeline. But what my big problem is with the whole kind of timeline stuff that they've done now is the fact that what they've basically done is they've taken a load of games that were made without any timeline in mind. So the games weren't... When each game was created, they weren't created with other ones in, in mind, with, with like, with, like, the exception, the extreme exception of, of, like, Wind Waker and Phantom Hourglass, for example, and the other vague exception of the, of the idea that, like, the, that, that Wind Waker comes after Ocarina of Time, um, and then as soon as Skyward Sword came out, they decided that they needed to, I'm not explaining what I'm doing here at all. They decided that they needed a timeline to make Skyward Sword work. So they, like, made up this cockamamie timeline and decided to impose it all on, like, the rest of them. Is this the one we need? Which is the gravestone that we need here? Is it this one? Oh, Poe, you can stay out of my vicinity now if you don't mind. No, this is wrong. Where is, like, the grave that has the hole in it? I'm just gonna stay out of your way. Just stay out of my way, mister. Is this even the right one? I'm just gonna bomb this wall and see what's behind it anyway. We don't even have time to do, like, what I was going to do in this video, so it doesn't matter. Might as well, like... Yeah, this is right, isn't it? I think. I don't even know what's in here, have I? No, this is a fairy fountain. Oh, well, sorry. Um, I might as well, like, go into the fairy fountain to finish the video. But yeah, I don't like the idea that they, like, impose the timeline on... Well, no, that's not... That wasn't even what I was going to talk about. That's, like, only one of the things that I take issue with is the whole, like, timeline thing. The other thing I take issue with is... 
well, I'll talk about it in the next video, but, like, basically, I don't like the idea of, like, them forcing a timeline on all the games, because it just seems, like, arbitrary, and it doesn't even matter, do you know that kind of way? It's like a timeline doesn't bring anything to the series. But anyway, in the next part, I'll try and find the right gravestone where we do the Dampe game, and we'll try and beat Dampe to get the hook shot. So thanks a million for watching, and I'll see you next time on Let's Play Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. Bye!